The 3D images of each of Chichen Itza's monuments were created by an Arinda nonprofit called SciArc, using a long range scanner created by its founder, Ben Kasira. And, and how many seconds is it going to take? Uh, 39 seconds. He originally designed the scanner for his engineering work, but a childhood spent surrounded by the archaeological treasures of northern Iraq and the recent destruction of monuments in nearby countries eventually led him down a different path. This shocking footage from Afghanistan, recorded exclusively by the Al Jazeera network, greeted Kasira when he turned his TV on in March of 2001. The Buddhas in Bamiyan, the magnificent statues, were blown up by the Taliban. It had to affect you, it, it tore your heart. You know, how could this unique thing all of a sudden disappear? Uh, the human race is, it's part of our memory, and part of our memory just vanished, gone. So Kasira started SciArc, a nonprofit working to create a digital trove of irreplaceable sites worldwide. Kasira approached officials at the Chabot Center about projecting clouds of points in their planetarium, and soon had them interested in adopting the technology for a film. Laser technology allowed the creators of Tales of Maya Skies to describe the Maya's astronomical accomplishments through breathtaking animations. The Maya carefully charted the sun, for example, and their tropical latitude gave them a unique vantage point. One of the principal astronomical phenomena that has shaped the way in which the Maya uh, believe in the order of the cosmos is what is called the zenith passage of the sun or when the sun comes directly overhead at noon. That moment we here north of the tropics, we do not experience. At the latitude of the Maya, this happened twice around the summer solstice, around May and July. And this unique event was recorded by the Maya by aligning certain important buildings in Chichen Itza. One of them is a sculpture that sits on top of what is called the Temple of the Warriors. And at sunset on that same day, the ruler could predict that the sun would set in such a way that from the Temple of the Warriors, you would see it creep down precisely behind this great sculpture. Over more than 100 years, the Maya observed the zenith sun reappear and were able to calculate how long it takes for the Earth to orbit the sun. The result was a solar calendar just as accurate as the one we follow today. The edges are highlighted. Two months before the November 2009 opening of the film, the production team is hard at work in Oakland. As the serpent hits the water, we're going to add a splashing. Today, they're critiquing one of the film's centerpiece animations, which illustrates another solar event. The phenomenon that Chichen Itza is most famous for is what is called the descent of the Kukul Khan, of the feather serpent, which is a solar phenomenon that happens only during the equinox. So as the sun rises in the east, it'll draw an arc in the sky and it will set in the west. Seven isosceles triangles were formed, mimicking the back of a snake, and here's the head of the snake pointing north. And at that time, you have like 60,000 people will come from all over the world to view this phenomenon. It's really amazing. The Maya believe that their god Kukul Khan, the feathered serpent, slithers off the pyramid and into the sacred well to bring on the rains. Because their written record was destroyed or lost to the elements, many questions remain about whether the Maya who built Chichen Itza intentionally aligned their buildings to record the movements of the sun and other celestial bodies. As more Maya symbols continue to be deciphered, these mysteries might be unveiled. And perhaps the film Tales of Maya Skies will contribute to that effort. Maybe that will be the little thing that will spark the interest in becoming one day researchers, as archaeologists, as anthropologists, or astronomers. They will continue to discover things about our ancestors and our past.